Welcome to this beginner video tutorial series where we are going to learn how to create an endless runner. Specifically, we are going to try recreating the gameplay mechanics used in the game called Temple Run. So for this tutorial, we are going to use the third person project template. It's preferable to enable the starter content in order to follow along with the tutorial, but you can definitely use any of the assets you want. Now after you created your project, you will be met with this screen. And from here, press Ctrl plus space. And from here, you, can, you have to navigate to content go to third person blueprints and from here select third person so double click this and you will be met with the screen from here go to the viewport there is this icon over here and in components go and select camera boom and while the camera boom is selected go to details and search for camera and in camera socket offset so in socket offset, go to the Z value over here and give it a 100. The reason we are doing this is so that we can see more in front of our player or this third person character over here. Because this game is meant to be a, an endless runner where we are going to be dodging obstacles and other objects. We want to see more in front of us and for that purpose we have this here. Now we're going to go into the event graph by clicking on this icon over here for the event graph. And this is the area known as blueprint where we're going to be adding notes and logic for our game. So in here there are a bunch of logic that we don't really need. So over here we have the gamepad logic. I'm going to delete this off. We also have this mouse controls. We don't need this, so delete it. And finally, we have this input controls. We don't need this input touch controls either, so delete it off. So the reason we kind of deleted them is because we don't have a need for them. We're trying to make an endless game. And for the purposes of our game, we don't need them. This also helps to declutter the blueprint so that it's easy to understand and debug later on. Now with this done, we need to now create a logic for our character which will allow it 90 degree turn. Just like in Temple Run, you know the main character can actually turn a sharp 90 degree turns at the corners. So we want to do the same thing over here as well. To do that, we're going to come over here and search for keyboard event A and enter make sure you get the spelling correct or it won't show up and I'm going to copy and paste this click on this input key this little keyboard icon thing and then select on the D key and now you got a D keyboard event now over to the left side Click on this add button, go to variable and type desired rotation. Make sure to change the variable type to rotator. Now get the value of desired rotation and connect it to combine rotators. In the B part of this rotator, there is a C value over here type minus 90 and now we are going to drag desired rotation again and set the value connect the return value to desired rotation here and then connect the execution node of the A keyboard event now just simply copy and paste the same thing over to D and just change the value of B on the Z value of B to just 90. 
So with these two code, basically when you press the A button, the character will turn left side and when you press the D button, the character will turn to the right side. So now I am going to organize all of these nodes together. So I am going to just select all of these nodes and press C. And now you can comment all of these nodes. I am going to type turning corners using the A and D keys. I am going to comment these as well. And this one also. So now they are nice and easy to understand. Now what we have done over here is that we gave a new rotation value over to this variable called desire rotation whenever we press the A and D keys. But we haven't actually yet applied this rotation to our character yet. And to do that I am going to create a custom event by right clicking, selecting add custom event and give it a name turning. From here I am going to drag off desired rotation, get the value, I will drag from desired rotation and type not equal. Now I am going to get the get control rotation and connect this over to here and the boolean value over here I am going to pass it to the branch node over here, connect turning and this branch, connect these two together, type Get play controller, get the set control rotation, connect the true value over to here and over to new rotation and type R interp2. Now I'm going to connect the desired rotation over to target and this node over here get control rotation over to current. Now type get world delta in seconds. Connect this over here. Give an interval speed of up to 9. And now let's try running the game. Oh yeah, forward. We need to apply turning over here. So I'm going to try the execution node. Type turning. And now if we were to run this game. Yeah now it works and that's it for the first part of this tutorial thanks for watching and see you later bye